Hi, I'm Brian at C3 Power Sports. Thanks for purchasing your C3 Synchro Drive kit for the Skidoo XP. Um, we're going to do an installation on this here XPM8 Turbo. These are the tools we're going to need to install the kit. Phillips screwdriver, 5mm Allen key, torque wrench, ratchet, 16mm socket, 17mm socket, and a 10mm wrench and a 17mm wrench, and some red and blue Loctite. So the first step will be disassembling the chain case as according to the service manual. Um, as you can see, we've already done that here. When installing on a stock machine, we recommend trimming this flange to allow the nut to slide in behind here and this surface along this line to allow some extra clearance for the carbon cover. As you can see with the stock running board, this bolt is pretty tight to the running board, so you might want to notch it out just a little extra to let that bolt fit in there nicely. Uh, first we'll do the top sprocket washer. And the sprocket slides on. Slip the belt on. Now we'll install the bottom sprocket with this cone shape towards the inside half of the chain, uh, the chain case. So this is a sprocket retainer assembly. What it's going to do is push on the sprocket against the bearing. Um, how it works is this slotted washer will go inside the drive shaft and about an inch and a half in you can feel that there's a lip there and you're going to put it in at an angle like this and pull it back so it can pull, push against that lip. Now the tricky part is going to be to get the bolt head to seat properly on the other side of the washer. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now using the insulation screw to help hold the bolt, insert the washer. Put some blue Loctite on the threads of the bolt. And then install the nut. We can remove the insulation screw. Now set the part brake so that we can torque this nut to 35 foot pounds without the shaft spinning. So next we'll install the idler assembly. You want to make sure the belt is on the back side, the idler. Come on. On this spacer there's an angular sanded face that allows it to fit nicely. As we're threading these screws in we're going to make sure we have the knot behind ready to thread through as well. And finish off with the wrench. Now repeat these steps for this one and leave the idler for last. With this bolt loose, we can tighten the, the idler wheel until the belt is tight enough that you can only rotate it about 30 degrees with your fingers. So 
you can see here. Once the belt is tightened, we can tighten down the idler arm. And the idler wheel. We'll also torque this at 35 foot pounds. So now that this is all in place, we can put some red Loctite on the upper jack shaft bolt and install it along with the washer. This bolt will get torqued to 35 foot pounds as well. When removing your belt, you don't have to disassemble the complete belt drive. Just take off the cover, loosen off the idler and the belt slips right through here. Like so. After removing the stock magnetic plug for the speed sensor, you want to take off the O-ring. And now we're going to cut it along this O-ring groove with a hacksaw. Then we can clean up the edges with the sander. So now we're going to drill the hole to mount the, the modified speed sensor. And the first step is inserting the quarter inch washer right into the center. And then using a quarter inch drill bit just to start the hole. We're using the washer to locate the center so that our hole is perfectly in the middle. Now we can switch to the 3 16th bit and drill through. Now we'll install our modified speed sensor from earlier. Put a little blue Loctite on the threads. And thread it into the bolt. Final step is installing the carbon cover. Uh, insert the screws. Thank you for purchasing your C3 Synchro Drive system for the Skidoo XP.